Okay. Okay. So this is selfish operating system on okay. uh, some R and D hardware that we're using just to show the operating system. Okay. So I can unlock the device with the power key or with a double tap, and then um, from the the lock screen, I can see that first off, I have a bunch of different messages. I also can use the pulley menu to go to normal or silent profile or to make a phone call or to open the camera okay. and I can do this without even having to look at the device because there's a haptic that makes a makes a feeling as I'm okay. doing each of these so here I can see my notifications I can see my uh, missed calls SMS okay. text messages um, Twitter feed uh, Facebook feed um, now here's the home screen and this shows where the applications I have open. At the moment, the applications I have open are the people, um, email, uh, phone, okay. media player, settings, and gallery. And these are the things that I use the most on a daily basis and the thing, yeah. things I think a lot of users would be using most of the time. So from here, without going into an application, I can use the multitasking features in order to, say, start the music player uh -huh. or go to the next song without having to go directly into the application or be able to stop the music so I can collect my thoughts. These are available um, using the Sailfish SDK for any okay. application developer to use the, the power of Sailfish when they're creating applications. So another similar thing with the, the email, I can either sync my email client or I can create a new email without having to go into the application and come all the way okay. out again. Um, same thing like with the phone, I can go to my people or I can go directly to the, the, the phone dialer. Um, so this is one of the big features that's, that's happened since Slush. Um, okay. Another one is with our settings. So say that you travel and um, every time that you get on the plane you have to go and find the settings application from yeah. the menu and then you have to go into the application and then say okay like system settings and find the airplane mode and then set that. Yeah. So what we've done with Sailfish is we have a lot of these kinds of things that make things a lot more powerful for the user. So I can take this airplane mode and I can basically add it to the favorites. Okay. So now when I access the settings application, I can see that the flight okay. mode is available right there at the top. And yeah. I, can, I can turn it on or turn it off. Okay. So. Interesting new stuff. Yes. And so, um, the, by the way, can you share some quick thoughts on how, what kind of feedback you have got here at the Mobile World Congress? I, I guess you have been showing it to developers, or so what, um, what kind of feedback are you getting? Uh, we released the Sailfish SDK on Monday, and we okay. got a lot of excellent feedback from developers and from the from the former Migo now okay. Sailfish community. Um, also, we've been talking to partners, and there's a lot of excitement for what we're doing because okay. we're creating a, a, a very new differentiator for the market. So, okay. so it's, we've gotten a lot of very good feedback that this is the right place and the right time in order to be creating a new operating system and making okay. it available. So, uh, and uh, are you, when you, have you already turned when you are in by preparing to open the SDK more for developers sort of thing and start working on the service? Um, it's launched. It, it, okay. it came out yesterday. Oh, it came, it's available okay. now. You can download okay. it today and you can start to use the Selfish SDK to create native Selfish applications. Okay, thank you very much and congratulations. All right, thank Congrats. you. Thanks. All right.